What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Run Escape podcast, uh, everyone's favorite opinionated RuneScape podcast, hosted by yours truly, Joseph from Joseph's Place, uh, and welcome to this episode. Now, this is going to be the first episode in hopefully a two-part episode of basically rates and my opinion on them and what I think about them. Uh, this episode, as the title implies, will be why raids make me sad, basically the negative parts of raids that I see. Uh, the next episode will be more on the introduction of them and how they were released and how that was handled and what I think about that, since Jagex does have a history of releasing content that's not fully ready. Uh, I have a few things I don't want to say on that topic, uh, but I did want to split those into two, just since they're, they're two very different uh, topics. So let's get into this episode of why raids make me sad. Now, let me first off say that this is not going to be me whining, basically saying that they're too difficult and that the skill cap's too high or whatever, because uh, if anything, I'll be saying the opposite of that. Uh, and not that they're too easy, uh, just that uh, this is kind of it. And that's kind of what I want to hit on in this episode is just this is the pinnacle of what I see as endgame content in RuneScape and just my opinion on that as a whole. Now, I do want to say that I think raids are enjoyable. They're enjoyable to watch and for the most part, enjoyable to play. Uh, there are a few things that I will get into in the next episode of things that may be able to be improved or have been improved on since release. Uh, but in general, I think it's a solid piece of content that was released, uh, but what makes me sad about them and the negative parts I see of this is just that this is kind of it in terms of endgame content for old school. Now, the past few years, I've always thought about what endgame content would be, just, you know, fantasizing or thinking about what could be endgame content in RuneScape since it's so different from every other MMO and pretty much every other game for the most part, and endgame content is very, very unique. Uh, or would have to be very unique in old school. Now I'm going to use WoW as a reference point since that's what I've been playing for the past six months. Uh, and I've gotten into the raiding scene quite a bit on WoW and have progressed fairly far. And I understand that they're two very, very different games. Uh, for example, I've said this before, but WoW and similar MMOs are very linear. Uh, you level one to max level and then the end game content starts. So you hit that max level and then you go from there. So everyone at 110, which is the max level now, uh, is kind of at the same starting point. Uh, for RuneScape, it's very non-linear uh, in the sense that you can't just level 1 to 99 and then you're done because uh, there's so many different skills and so many different ways to do things, I guess. Uh, for raids, you have different skills that are recommended and useful, like hunter, uh, other than combat, like hunter, herblore, uh, farming. So you can't just level you know, 1 to 110 and then hit the end game content all with that same base starting point because RuneScape is such a massive game and there's so many things to do and maxing out is not the easiest thing to do, nor is it really like the goal of the game, so to speak. Uh, in WoW, your goal is to hit that level, hit that max level, and then start end game. That's not really how RuneScape works. And I understand there are those differences, so uh, I will reference that, you know, I'll go back to that and I understand that, but I do want to kind of compare these two just in terms of like what their end game content is. Um, and just where I see old school's end game content going. So for a game like WoW or any other MMO similar to that, your end game content improves over time in the sense of a new expansion will release, there'll be more levels, and then there'll be more raids. And then within those raids, you'll get different raid tiers. Uh, so different different difficulties and just different bosses in general. Now, the reason that this wouldn't really work for RuneScape is because you don't have expansions and you don't have like an, an increase in a level cap. So you can't just release a boss that's more difficult and requires a higher level because that's just not how RuneScape works. You're not going to increase the level from, for example, 100 to 110, which was the last expansion in WoW, and then you have a brand new set of raids that can only be completed at 110. Uh, in old school, you'll have new bosses, but they require the same skills, and they require the same, you know, the same combat skills, or at least the same level requirements, generally speaking. So you can't just release more and more difficult bosses. And you can't really release too many new mechanics either, just in terms of what RuneScape has in terms of controls. Uh, there's very limited availability for just the mechanics to be there. Uh, you click to move, and you can do a little bit more with tick manipulation, but really it's very straightforward. It's based on clicking. Uh, it's not based on uh, 
using an ability to dodge or something like that because it's just very straightforward. You click to attack, you click to move, you click to use items. So there's very little you can do with the mechanics and there's very little you can do with the difficulty too just because there is no starting point for end game content. Now I'm going to use Bodhi's team for an example because they are doing very well with raids so far they've got it down to a science and they're already farming it and the fact that this content is already being farmed just a few days after release is a little disheartening just in the sense of uh, a little disappointing in the difficulty of it i guess now they're doing very well and i think they're all very top tier players for the most part uh, but this content will become farm content soon and that's how pretty much all end game content works for example, in WoW, uh, the guild I'm with is at farm is farming the current raid tier. Uh, it's not we're not progressing on it. We've already cleared what we needed to clear, and now we're just doing it just for the gear, and that's fine. But there will be a new raid tier that comes out a week from Tuesday that will bring an entire new raid and will bring an entire new tier of things to progress through and different difficulties to do it on, and that keeps you interested. With RuneScape raids, it's already at farm content, which in and of itself isn't bad, but you can't really have another tier, or at least not a more difficult tier, because this is kind of the pinnacle of difficulty, especially since they're doing this whole scaling thing. Now, one way they could do it, I guess, would be to remove the scaling and only have a raid that requires this high level content, which would be fine, uh, but even that has a cap and has a limit to what they can do with it, just because of how RuneScape's leveling system works. And I just think it's really uh, unique, and I'm excited to see where it goes, but at the same time, I don't think that it can really be sustained. Um, again, they can keep releasing new raids with new items, but just in terms of difficulty and mechanics, not a whole lot really can change or really will change. It'll be the same general mechanics. Now, they brought some stuff into this that are unique to raids, uh, some stuff that's pretty interesting in terms of just uh, puzzle rooms and boss mechanics, but the more they do this the more it's just going to be kind of repetitive uh with a game like wow or really any mmo like that that has raids you'll have different bosses with different mechanics they'll be i guess generally the same mechanics like don't stand in this they'll shoot fire breath here something like that but it's different because of the whole tiered system so the difficulty will be different on uh, runescape if they release a new raid uh, again they're going to have similar mechanics but the difficulty can't really increase because of again the way the leveling system works uh, you're at max level even if you're a maxed character or especially if you're a maxed character uh, the difficulty can't really get harder because there's no more level cap the, the level cap can't increase and the amount of damage you can do etc can't really increase now you can get better armor uh, but at the same time, that's all tradable. It's just something that other MMOs I don't really think have, especially in WoW. Uh, you get gear and the gear is yours. You can't really trade it or sell it. So you have to do these raids to gear up. Uh, in RuneScape, you can literally just buy it. So that really takes away from the gearing aspect of raids. So you have more tiers, but you can just skip all the old tiers and buy the newest gear if that new raid requires you to have max gear. Um, so that really takes away from the increasing difficulty in in gear and in leveling. So those are two big chunks of, uh, or two big pools that are kind of just taken away of what new raid tiers could bring. Uh, now I think I'm rambling a little bit and repeating myself, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, but just to kind of recap, my whole outlook on it is we have a raid tier, or we have a raid and any other raid tiers after this can't really increase in difficulty based on a gear being tradable so you can just buy the newest gear if you have enough money and b the leveling system is very non-linear meaning that you don't have to reach a certain point in able to in order to do something like in wow you have to reach max level you don't have to do that in raids especially since it scales with your level basically um and I guess those are the two things, the leveling and the gear, that really takes away from what new tiers or new raids could bring. Yeah, it can bring new bosses with new gear drops, but it does kind of, if it's not best in slot gear, it won't be valuable. And if it is best in slot gear, we'll make something else invaluable and it won't bring anything new. It'll just bring different looking bosses with maybe slightly different mechanics, but it will generally all be the same. And the difficulty level really can't increase all too much. Um, I think 
one of the biggest things they could do is more puzzles and more things like that. But again, I mean, I'm not a game developer for Jagex and I don't claim to be, and I don't <laughs> really want to be, but uh, they could come up with something and surprise me and just completely surprise me in terms of what can be done. Uh, but that's just the way I see it, is that there is a, a pinnacle or a cap of what can be done in old school. And I think we're close to hitting it. And I'm kind of interested to see in like where it will go and what the next steps after that will be, because there is still a lot of content to do for a lot of people in RuneScape. Uh, reaching max isn't really even the end. And most people, a large majority of people aren't even maxed. So there is a lot to do for people who aren't maxed. And I don't think this will kill the game at all, just because this game has survived so long in just leveling up and people leveling up their mains and alts. And I don't think this lack of end game content will kill old school at all. I just think the end game content as a whole will just become a little less interesting. And the more it becomes farmed and as more raid tiers come out, just a little less exciting and interesting and I just don't see a very longevity of endgame content like raids uh, because eventually everything in RuneScape just becomes grinding and farming out that content and when there's no new content it's just gonna be the same old same old and that raid will just be like another boss and there won't be anything really special about it just like people farm God Wars dungeons I mean there's not gonna be anything exciting about it anymore and then when they try just the way I see it, trying to release new ones will just not be as exciting as raid tiers are in other games due to the reasons I've mentioned. Uh, but that is just my opinion. If you have other opinions, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Apologize if it was a little bit rambly. Uh, it's been a while since I've kind of just talked uh, my thoughts, so they're kind of all over the place. Uh, but if you have your, any other opinions, I'd love to read them in the comments below. Um, but overall, I do think raids are a good piece of content. I think they're exciting for now, and I think they're fun to watch and fun to play. And there are some improvements, and I'll get onto that in my next uh, podcast in the part two of this. Uh, but I do think it's a solid piece of content, and I commend the team for what they've done. And I'm interested to see in the future, or what the future holds for this type of content. Uh, but that is all I have for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for. Uh, but that is it for this part of the podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.